Hello, my name is Caroline. Thanks for joining me for part three of my Facebook Effects Spark AR tutorial project. If you've missed my previous videos, parts one and two, I will link to them below. I highly recommend you watch at least part one before you jump into part three here. In part one, I cover what a Facebook effect was, what Spark AR was, and why you should be interested in it. And I did a demo lab number one. In part two, I did lab number two. And today is part three. And I'm also going to cover how to submit your effect into Facebook for approval. Let's get started. This video is quick start lab number three. I will link to this in the description field below as to how to get to it. You do need a Facebook account. You need to be logged in in order to actually see this tutorial. And this is going to be different from the other tutorials. The other tutorials were all based on a selfie or having the camera uh, facing us. This tutorial is actually having the camera uh, turned around and facing the other way and how to create an augmented reality object uh, on the floor or you know, in, in your living room or something so that you could see how an object would look uh, in your home. It's kind of a try before you buy uh, type event. And so we're gonna jump into that tutorial right now. This is Quick Start Lab number three, 3D objects on a flat surface. Picking up right where we left off, this was where we ended up with lab number two. You actually don't want to continue using the same lab as last time because we're flipping the view now. And thus, I want to actually hit file from Spark AR and just start a brand new project. Actually, so I'm gonna close the old one. And this is a fresh new project in Spark AR. And you see the default lady is there. I explained her in video number one. And so this is just a default what a brand new project looks like. What we're going to do is we're going to change the video over here and we're going to change it to a blank video because this is going to be about plain space and not about a face. And now in the assets panel, I am going to import from library. And there is this library that comes with your Spark AR program and I'm gonna look for a flower pot. And it says to pick the first flower pot that comes up, which is this one, flower pot with succulent plants. Beautiful. Hit import. Now I am downloading the flower pot with succulent plants. It is done. And now I'm going back to the scene tree here and I want to add a plane tracker, insert plane tracker. Now it is tracking, it's looking for the floor. And from my assets panel, I'm going to drag a 3D model from the 3D objects folder into the scene tree panel and make sure to drag it to plane tracker zero. So I'm taking this asset and I'm dragging it to plane tracker. And now you see the flower pot with succulents on the ground. Rename the 3D object to plant. Okay, so no more flower pot with succulents, it's now a plant. And you may need to adjust how big it is. So it's pretty big, it's taking up pretty much the whole camera space here. And let's make this a little bit smaller. So I'm, I'm gonna select plant on the left, which opens up the expector panel on the right. And then the scale can be a, instead of a one, it can be a point one. And now the plant is significantly smaller. You can test this on your phone to see what it looks like. All right, so first of all, I'd recommend hitting save. Let's save this. So this is lab three. I'm gonna open the player, the Spark Air player, and it takes me right back to where I was. And then I'm gonna hit mirror, and then it's gonna say it's compressing, and it's gonna put it on my phone. I'm gonna turn around the camera here, and there it is. There is my there's my little succulent plant right there on the ground. And if you move it around, it kind of doesn't go anywhere. All right, so that is a plant. If you want it somewhere else, what I found is I have to do, do like this, and then yeah, there's the plant right there. So if it's too small, you can uh, change the scale a little bit bigger or smaller, however you want to do it. And that was lab number three. And I love lab number three because first of all, it's not on my face. And second of all, it shows the other side of the camera. And I think somewhat more practical things that you can do. Imagine a plant before you buy it in your space or a piece of furniture perhaps in your space before you actually purchase it. I really like that. I think that's very cool. Now let's talk about how to submit to 
Facebook so that you can send it out to your friends and people can use it. The first thing you're going to do is let's say we're going to do this with the plant. Let's say we're happy with everything, how it went. The first thing I'm going to do is go back into my player and I'm going to go into lab three. There we go. And I'm going to see this plant here and I'm going to make a recording. So I'm making a recording and this is my plant on the ground. All right, perfect. So it only needs to be a few seconds long. And then I need to move that recording off my phone onto my computer, however you like to do that, that is up to you. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload to a Dropbox folder. I'm uploading to Dropbox from my phone, my computer, or to my Dropbox, and it'll automatically download onto my computer. I have created my file. I've saved as lab three. I need to export the file. How do I export the file? You go over here to the top right hand corner and hit export. I think there's a way to do it over here too. Command key E, but I'm gonna just hit export right here. And then you wanna look at how much space you're taking up. So this is really simple. This is not gonna take up much space. This is gonna be fine. As you create more elements or have more complicated effects, it will get bigger and there's the best practices on how big you want your effect to be. So I'm gonna hit export, no problem here. Hit export effect. And then it asked me if I would like to open Spark AR Hub. I have Spark AR Hub open right here, facebook.com forward slash Spark AR Hub. This is my account and you can see the effect I've created that has already been approved. Now you want to upload a new effect. So I'm gonna click upload new effect upload effect and it's going to really just walk me through this this is pretty simple get started so you can now choose if you would like to upload it to facebook or instagram one or the other and effect name i'm going to call this plant and i'm going to hit next now there has to be an icon there are I icon guidelines you can't actually have your face as part of the icon it's got to be an actual icon now, how do you make an icon now if you have photoshop skills highly recommend just go with that uh, if you don't and you're just an amateur like me i would recommend going to canva.com it's a free website you create an account on canva you would hit create design you would hit custom dimensions your icon has to be 700 by 700 pixels i'd hit create design here is a design this is not the best example you would actually want something that actually looks correct but let's say i'm going to name this plant icon and then i'm going to hit download i'm going to download this and then I'm gonna to go to Spark AR, downloads. I'm gonna take that plant icon, put that right there. And then I'm gonna confirm. This is what I would like my icon to look like. My effect file is this, Lab3 export. And I'm going to drag and drop that. And that is uploading, okay, it is uploaded now. And then legal agreement. I have read all the applicable terms and conditions. I'm not infringing on anybody's intellectual property rights. Oh my goodness and I am going to upload and continue. Are you sure? Continue. And now I can test it on Facebook. I can go ahead and send it out to all of my friends by copying a link or sending a notification to myself. And that's, that's one way I can test it for myself to make sure I have the right one. Let's, let's say I've already done that. I'm gonna hit next. And then I wanna make it available everywhere or a specific location, make active once approved, next. Then I need to review my information. How does my effect work? So that somebody's reviewing this on the other hand, this places a plant on the ground. That's what I'm gonna say. Video of the effect right here. And I just drop and, drop and drag that video effect right here. And then hit next. And now I can just submit for Facebook to approve it. Now they're probably not gonna approve this, so I'm not gonna hit submit, but that would be the very last step, submit for review. And then they'll come back and say if it's approved or not approved. It does say on here right now that it takes about 24 hours to receive a approval or not approval. You'll get a response back within 24 hours. Once it's approved, then what they give you is this share icon that I showed you in the first video. So you can share it, you can copy the link, send it to all your friends, Hopefully you found this interesting and fun. Thanks so much for walking along with me on this journey through Spark AR and creating Facebook effects. I will talk to you next time. Please subscribe. Bye now.